The governing body for international cycling, the UCI, has come out with some possible restrictions on equipment. Some of these declarations have to do with the gearing limit allowed in bike races like World Tours and the Tour de France. That's not what's important here. What's important here is I get to talk about Calvin's big dumb math trick for rear sprockets. First, some background. Assume we're on a ride and we're keeping a consistent front chain ring. No shifting up here. Let's keep consistent pedal speed and we're gonna shift to the smaller sprockets and back. With the same pedal speed, we're gonna be going faster and faster. Those tiny sprockets bring the big gear ratio. For any given sprocket, there is a lever arm that turns the cassette, that turns the hub, that turns the wheel. These larger sprockets have a longer lever like a wrench. So the longer the wrench, the easier it is to turn. Now, the wrench length is determined where the roller and rivet are. But when we talk gearing, we talk about sprocket sizes. We don't use the length of some theoretical lever. Nonetheless, we can figure out the length of our lever arm because we know the radius of the circles. The circle can be described by the center of the rollers where the chains rivet sit. This one is a nine tooth sprocket. Chains are a half an inch rivet to rivet to rivet. So nine teeth must be a circumference of four and a half inches. Run the old pi times two times radius thing backwards and we find the lever arm here is about three quarters of an inch. That short little lever is hard to turn to keep up that speed. Actually, you don't need my math. You know this kinetically. In the burning of your legs as you drop down to those small sprockets. What you do need to know though is Calvin's dumb math trick for rear sprockets. This is about relative sprocket size and even an odd number of teeth. Pick any tooth. Go straight across through the axle center and here we land on a gap. Tooth straight across to gap, odd. That's an odd number of teeth. Nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, etc. Tooth to gap, that's the alignment. Let's see this one. Tooth, straight through the middle, a tooth. Tooth to tooth, even. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, on up, even. This one, tooth, straight through, gap. It's odd. In fact, 11 teeth. Now it's your turn. Pick a tooth, sight straight through, we have a tooth. Odd or even? Even, very good. It's a little bigger than the last one we saw, an 11 tooth. Could it be a 13 tooth? No. It's an even number. 14, that doesn't feel right. It's not. It is a 12, 12 tooth sprocket. Sure enough, there's a tool that can help us sight. The CP 1.2. Rivet to rivet can help us sight. We engage one side. We try and come straight across. Here, we are not passing through the axle center but maybe it's me that's off. If I change, nope, I'm still not passing through center. This one is odd. This engages on gaps, but gap to gap is even. It's still the same concept. Let's try this one. The next sprocket, engage. You come across this rivet to this rivet, straight through the axle. The next one is even. 13 tooth, 14 tooth. Now, why even care? Why would I even want to have learned this? Because when the cassettes came out with the free hubs, it was a revelation. Any sprocket fit on any position. 
nice. I worked for a writer that wanted their sprockets changed to different sizes just before races. You'd think this person could have thought of this the night before. There'll be no complaining from mechanics. No one listens anyway. Knowing this trick, I could quickly get the sprockets that were requested. Well, in the UCI communiques, what we're reading are some gear limits that are gonna be a 54 tooth in front and an 11 tooth in back. Well, when the UCI later this summer lines up all the Peloton for this rocket check, they'll be looking for nines and tens. I hope the UCI remembers Calvin's dumb math trick for rear sprockets and brings the C free two to help speed those checks. Okay, that's not true. We know that to check gear limits, it should be a rollout, not checking sprocket sizes. But gear development, that's a worm of a different color for another day. Today, what we've learned is Calvin's dumb math trick for rear sprockets. If you have a dumb math trick, tell us in the comments below. Thanks. It gets easier with practice. Believe me.